Hello friends, my name is Sandy Scroggins. I am here today to show you how I made 21 cards using the January 2021 Fresh Start Card Kit by Love From Lizzie. Included in the kit were 6x6 pattern papers, 8 and a half by 11 pearlescent paper, 8 and a half by 11 colored cardstock, flower ephemera pieces, peel-offs, matching sequins mix, and coordinating stamps. I also used Nouveau Drops on a few of the cards. For adhesive, I used Fabri-Tac by Beacon and Art Glitter Glue. All but one of my cards are standard A2 size, which is 5.5 by 4.25 inches. One of the cards is a 5 by 7. Now let's get started. For my first card, I am using three different pattern papers. Two are cut in rectangles for the top and bottom of the card, and one I trimmed up to utilize as a border strip to go between the other two pattern papers. I am adhering the pattern paper directly to my white card base. I put gold peel-offs on either side of the smaller strip to add a little bit of sparkle and interest to the card. I adhered a flower ephemera to the center of the card and added three sequins, two in the top right hand corner and one just to the left of the flower ephemera. I was able to make four cards using this design. And here is the finished card. For my second card, I wanted to showcase the beautiful flower paper. I cut a small piece from the green pearlescent paper and adhered it to the bottom of the white card base. Then I adhered the flower paper on the top portion of the card base. I turned the card base over and I trimmed off the hanging over pieces. I put a gold peel off over the top of where the flower paper and green pearlescent paper meet. I fussy cut the small wreath from one of the cut aparts and stamped the Miss You sentiment using black archival ink by Ranger. I adhered two gold hearts from the sequin mix to the sentiment, then added some Nouveau drops. I made two cards using this design. And here is the completed card. For my next card, I cut a five and a half by four and a quarter piece from the green cardstock. I adhered a strip of pattern paper to the cardstock. I put glittered peel offs on either side of the strip of paper. Then I adhered a piece of pattern paper to pink cardstock that came in the kit. I added a peel off to the bottom of the pattern paper, and then I adhered the layered piece overlapping the pattern strip. Then I adhered the green cardstock to the white card base. Before I added the sentiment to the card, I adhered a one quarter inch circle in the corner so that it would lay level on top of the card. The sentiment is happy birthday. I used it from the stamp set that came in the kit. Once adhered, I also added two flower ephemera pieces around the sentiment. I adhered two gold sequins in the top right hand corner of the card and one on the sentiment. I was able to make two cards with this design. And here is the completed card. For the next card, I used a piece of vellum that was included in the kit. It's a beautiful green vellum with flowers on it. I adhered it to a piece of gold cardstock, also included in the kit. Then I took two strips of pattern paper and adhered them diagonally on the card. This is my favorite de card design that I have used so far. Once I added the strips diagonally on the card, I did turn the card base over and I trimmed off the overhang. 
Then I put gold peel-offs on the sides of the paper strips and in the middle. I adhered the circle sentiment with the words Miss You from the stamp set included in the kit. Then I adhered flower ephemera pieces around the sentiment. I adhered two gold sequins to the top left hand corner of the card and one in the bottom right hand corner. I was able to make two cards using this design. And here is the completed card. My next card is a super simple card. I adhered a piece of five and a half by four and a quarter yellow cardstock to the white card base. Using yellow glitter peel offs, I created a frame around a piece of pattern paper. Then I adhered the pattern paper to the cardstock. Please excuse my kitty who you hear in the background. He's a little old and senile right now. After adhering the pattern paper to the cardstock, I adhered a flower ephemera piece to the top right hand side of the pattern paper. And then I went and got my mini Misty so I could do some stamping. I stamped good luck on the card using my Misty and utilizing the sentiment from the stamps included in the kit. I adhered pink sequins to the top right hand corner of the card and the bottom left hand corner of the card. Then using the Nouveau drops, I put several circle drops on the card. And that's it for this card design. I was able to make two cards using this design. And here is the completed card. For my next card, I used a five and a half by four and a quarter piece of yellow pearlescent cardstock and a piece of pink pearlescent cardstock. I used two pieces of pattern paper. I adhered this square piece of pattern paper to the pink pearlescent cardstock and then put two different sizes of yellow glitter peel offs on the bottom. I adhered the smaller piece of pattern paper to the yellow pearlescent cardstock. Then I adhered a piece of yellow glitter peel-offs to either side of the pattern paper. I'm so sorry that you hear my kitty in the background. Then I glued everything to the card base. I overlapped the layered pattern paper and then I adhered two white sequins in the top right hand corner of the card and one on the yellow glitter peel offs. I was able to make two cards with this design. And here is the completed card. My next card is made with five and a quarter by four piece of pink pearlescent cardstock. I took two strips of pattern paper and adhered them to the cardstock. Then I overlapped the third strip of pattern paper across the first two. Using gold holographic peel offs, 
I place one strip on either side of the overlap strip of pattern paper. Then I adhered the card front to the white card base. I adhered a flower ephemera piece onto the front of the card and I added two gold sequins to the top right hand corner of the card and one on the bottom left hand side of the card. I was able to make two cards using this design. And here is the completed card. For my next card, most of the footage was lost. This is the one card that is a 5x7. I took a piece of green pearlescent cardstock and attached it to the white card base. I framed the cardstock with clear glitter peel offs, and I took a vellum H and a vellum B from the card kit and fussy cut around the letters and flowers. I stamped happy birthday on the top right hand side of the card near the H and on the bottom left side of the card near the B. I adhered two flower ephemera pieces to the card and three white sequins. And this is the completed card. My next card is another simple card. I could not bear to cut up the beautiful flower paper so I decided to make a picture frame type of card. I cut the paper into four equal strips and adhered them to the white card base. Then I added clear glitter peel-offs on each side of the strips to create that picture frame look. I adhered three peak sequins, one to the top right hand corner of the card and two in the bottom left hand corner. I was only able to make one card of this design and I think this is the fa my favorite card that I made. And here is the completed card. For my last card design, I took all of my scraps and I die cut them into the honeycomb strips from the honeycomb die cut. I stacked them together to create a beautiful pattern. Once all of the honeycomb strips were adhered to the card, I did turn the card base over and I trimmed off all of the overhang. Then I went through the pack of the flower ephemera pieces and created a really pretty cluster in the center and then adhered the cluster to the front of the card.
Then I added a single gold peel off to the bottom of the card. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. And here is a look at all 21 of the cards that I made using this kit. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and please give me a thumbs up. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.